Morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this Monday, the 29th week of Ordinary Time. I hope that you had a lovely weekend. Once again, today we'll be reading from Luke's Gospel. Today, chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Let us start our time together by reminding ourselves that we are in the presence of God, making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to give me a share of our inheritance. My friend, he replied, who appointed me your judge or the arbitrator of your claims? Then he said to them, Watch and be on your guard against avarice of any kind, for a man's life is not made secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Then he told them a parable. There was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, what am I to do? I have not enough room to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones and store all my grain and my goods in them. And I will say to my soul, my soul, you have plenty of good things laid for many years to come. Take things easy. Eat, drink, have a good time. But God said to him, Fool, this very night the demand will be made for your soul and this hoard of yours, whose will it be then? So it is when a man stores up treasure for himself in place of making himself rich in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. This Gospel this morning of Luke's, this section that we're reading, he's asking us to look for a deeper theological meaning. Luke is challenging us to think deeply. He wants us to truly think about what this message is that Jesus is trying to share. Before we do, it's good for us to remember and think back. Jesus' contemporaries actually live lives of immense hardship under very harsh social and political conditions. Famine or land appropriation were a constant threat for subsistence farmers who were suffering under excruciating taxation practices. In this situation, the landowner who stores his surplus crop instead of helping to feed and support poorer families would not have won the sympathy of Jesus' listeners. They will have enjoyed this simple reminder that even unscrupulous people like this landowner will die and his grand plans will look very foolish. Jesus tells this parable as a warning against greed and Luke is offering a deeper theological meaning, asking us to think, what are the ways that I am rich towards God? The parable warns against greed and Jesus is telling and challenging us. What does rich mean in the eyes of God? Okay. Let's say a prayer together as we finish our time. Jesus, help me to see the richness in my life not in the value of material things and possessions, 
but in the inner depths of my heart. Help me to be a person whose inner richness looks out for others and care for those in need. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me again this morning. I hope that you have a lovely day. Bye for now.